welcome once again to Pennsylvania and this time we are in McKean County all the way up in northern Pennsylvania of course this is a continuation of my road trip my two-day road trip we were just over in Potter County the ruins of the Austin Dam so now I've made my way over here we're gonna try and get to the McKean County High Point and we've ended up on another dirt road Somewhere up here is should be a, a parking lot for state game lands that we can park to. We won't be able to drive up to this high point. Yesterday we did the Potter County High Point. We could just drive right up to that one. This one will involve a little bit of hiking and bushwhacking, I think. All right, so right there was our road, Sartwell Creek Road, and there is a parking area here on state game lands. This is state game lands number 59. We'll follow this road for a little bit, and I don't know if you can see it, that's where we're going up there. So it looks like we have a little bit of road walk, and then uh, from what I've read, we've come a bushwhack to get to the top. So not, not terribly far away. Shouldn't take us too long to do it. <laughs> Shouldn't take us too long to do it. But uh, we'll get there. My first time in McKean County. I should say, this is on the very eastern edge of McKean County. Yeah, I believe our high point is actually up there. And this, this mountain doesn't have a name, it's just called the McKean County High Point. Maybe we'll give it a name, huh? Sartwell Mountain. So it's right along Sartwell Creek. Still making our way up this road. Yeah, lots of these are black cherry trees. Nice ones, actually. You can see the uh, the black cherries on the road here. I got to check my GPS. <laughs> my GPS at some point. And I'll probably head up off into the woods, bushwhack up. But I think I'll walk up at least to the crest up here of the road. So we are only a couple hundred feet from the summit. So at this point I'm gonna get off the road and start hiking to the top. So there is no trail to the top. So just trying to find the best way as possible up. Well it looks like a very faint trail up here. But thankfully it's not terribly far to the top there. Looks like they've been come up your chainsaws and thinned the trees out. I don't really care for that, but oh well. Alright. Yeah, so right up here is state game land boundaries. That's what the white paint means. There's also purple paint up here. Uh, Pennsylvania passed the uh, purple paint law some time ago. But uh, I think we gotta go up this way. The directions I read said that High Point is right along the border. It has lots of uh, paint marks on it. So we'll go up this way a little bit more. Yes, that purple paint law is a way for property owners to denote private property, no trespassing. So if you, sorry, out of breath. So if you see purple paint on the trees like that, that's what that means. It's just as good as having a no trespassing sign put up. All right, I'm gonna catch my breath and check my GPS again. All right, so GPS says we gotta go that way, maybe 100 feet or so. But we do get a bit of a view from over here. Since they had thinned things out, you can kind of see a little bit. Beautiful day to be doing this. It's in lower 70s, so it's a good day to, you know, climb a mountain. All right, let's, uh, let's descend into the thick here. 
Now we're getting some blackberries and thorns and stuff. My favorite thing to walk through. So I guess we've got to keep our eyes open for a tree that's covered in lots of paint marks because it's right on the boundary. So I believe this is the tree we're looking for and my GPS says this is the location. The high point of McKean County and I'll get my notebook out in a moment, it tells you how high we are. I'm just gonna take some pictures as too. Of course there's a tree too with a bunch of paint on it. So right here in this spot. All right, cool. All right, so 2,460 feet is how high this high point is. 2,460, a little bit less than what the uh, Potter County high point was. Like I said, this doesn't really have an official name, but we named it Sartwell Mountain. All right, well, it's getting, the skies are getting pretty dark. It almost feels like, looks like rain, feels like rain. So I'm gonna hustle off this mountain. Hope it's just some cloudiness. I do have one other place I wanna get to, at least one other place today, the Kanzua Bridge. Been wanting to get there for a while. I got plenty of time to get there. Just hope the weather holds up. So I'm gonna, Like I just heard thunder. Anyway, I'm gonna hoof my way off this mountain and I'll meet up with you back down at the Jeep. I gotta fill in my little paper. I forgot to do that for Potter County. I have my little paper that has all the high points on in the order in which I did them in. Yeah, just feel like I'm hearing thunder. Anyway, let's, let's get off this mountain. All right, so here's our little map. Haven't seen this for a while. Well, last summer, the last county we did last summer was Bradford over here. But today we did Potter and McKean County, 34 and 35. We are over halfway now, 67 counties total. Got 35 of them done. All right, so that'll be it for this video, the high point of McKean County. And it did get considerably more cloudy since we started this hike, but it took me about 25 minutes to get to the top there. But anyway, we're gonna hit the road again. We're gonna continue on further into McKean County and get to the Kinzua Bridge, or what's left of it. So, another place I've always wanted to get to. All right, let's get going. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.